The animal I chose to research is the European mink, otherwise known as Mustela lutriella. The European mink is a semi-aquatic species native to Europe. It is related to the European pool cat and the Siberian weasel. Minks are semi-aquatic mammals and are considered carnivores. They mostly inhabit dense vegetated banks of streams and rivers. Minks stay close to fresh water where they find most of their food sources, mainly crayfish. European minks are generally small. The males only reach about 15 inches long and the females reach about a foot. Even the larger minks weigh less than 2 pounds. They have dark brown or black fur with a long narrow tail. They have white markings around their face, lips, and chin. The IUCN listed the European mink critically endangered due to the large decrease in numbers. There are roughly 1,000 to 1,500 individuals left in Europe. The species declined over 50% and they are expected to decline by 80% over the next three generations. The decrease in the European mink is mainly caused by an invasive species, the American mink. They were introduced to Europe because their fur was more desirable for clothing, but they did not know the effects it would have on their native species. The invasive American mink is the main reason the European mink population has dropped by a drastic 50% in the last 10 years. The American mink have fewer predators and outcompete the native species when it comes to food and other resources. They are also larger and more aggressive than the European mink with a faster reproductive rate. The American mink is more efficient underwater and have a strong advantage over the European mink in finding food. Other impacts on the European mink include trapping for their fur, climate change, habitat loss, and also canine distemper. They are affected by this virus just as much as dogs, and it has caused some reduction in population. The issue is more severe in areas where the minks live close to one another. The European mink's main food source is the crayfish, but due to predators, climate change, and pollution, the crayfish numbers are also decreasing. Many conservation efforts are already in place. They have 250 minks in captivity for breeding to repopulate the species. They constructed a special breeding facility in 2014 to study and determine the species requirements by analyzing genetic variability. Even with the increase in conservation efforts, the population is slowly declining. More efforts need to be in effect or the European mink species will soon disappear. Some of my suggestions for regrowth in the European mink population is vaccinating the minks for canine distemper, funding organizations that relocate the American mink species. Also limit the amount of hunting and trapping on the mink. Maintaining healthy streams and forests by limiting litter, promote recycling, and decrease pollution in their habitat. The European mink has been on the skirts of extinction since the 18th century. The species was thought to be extinct at one point during the 1970s. If we don't take action, someday animals just like the European mink will eventually become extinct. And by then it will be too late.